Starting your day with Psalm 121 is like having a sturdy umbrella on a rainy day. It serves as a constant reminder that God is always there, shielding you from life's downpours, regardless of the challenges that may come your way. So, no matter what you are facing today, remember that God is telling you that your help comes from the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. In addition to reflecting on Psalm 121, we will also engage in a powerful prayer together, invoking God's divine protection and abundant blessings in the name of Jesus. I encourage you to stay with us until the end and open your heart to receive the blessings of this prayer. Every morning, as the world awakens to the fresh light of a new day, we are given a brand new start. This is akin to how the ocean waves wash away the footprints of yesterday on the sandy shores. The dawn signifies not only the beginning of a new day, but also embodies the promise of a fresh alignment with God. At the core of our daily renewal lies Psalm 121, a special and comforting psalm that reassures us that even when the world feels burdensome and challenges seem insurmountable, our God is always vigilant, ensuring our safety and protection. It's as if God is whispering to us, You are not alone. I am right here with you. Psalm 121 is often referred to as the Traveler Psalm and rightfully so. It serves as a powerful prayer to commence your daily journey, reminding us that no matter where life takes us or what challenges we encounter, God is always with us, watching over our every step. Just as a traveler may encounter unexpected twists and turns on their journey, we too face unknowns and uncertainties in our daily lives. Let's delve into this powerful and impactful psalm, verse by verse, finding hope strength, and a guiding light that reminds us of God's unwavering presence and care. Verse 1 opens with the scripture, I will lift up my eyes to the hills, from whence comes my help. Imagine standing before towering mountains or gazing up at the boundless sky. It's a humbling experience. This verse directs our focus to something much greater than our daily concerns, the majesty of God's creation. It poses a question that resonates with us during times of uncertainty and fear. Where do we turn for support? The beautiful answer is echoed in verse 2, but it's also beautifully captured in Psalm 46 verse 1, which states, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. When problems arise and we feel alone, this verse reminds us that God is always there to help us. He's not merely an observer. He is our ever-present help. So, I ask you today, where does your help come from? Does it come from your job, your income, your friends, or your loved ones? Let's explore the ultimate answer to these questions in verse 2. Verse 2 declares, My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. It's human nature to take pride in our creations, whether it's a simple meal or a complex work of art. We meticulously plan our days, scheduling each hour with activities and goals. However, this verse calls us to pause and consider something grander. The entirety of creation, the heavens, and the earth. It calls attention to the splendor of the sparkling stars, the moon, the sun, and the breathtaking beauty of our world with its diverse landscapes, environments, and life forms. All of these were meticulously crafted by the Lord. This is the God we serve, the God of all creation. In the book of Exodus, from chapters 35 to 40, we are reminded of the story of the Israelites during the construction of the tabernacle in the desert. Every artisan was filled with the Spirit of God to design and create. Consider that their abilities were not solely their own. They were gifts from the divine creator. Similarly, our skills, intelligence, and even our capacity to plan our gifts from God. This realization is both humbling and empowering. If our daily plans seem significant, how much more significant is the one who created the universe? By acknowledging that our true help comes from the creator of heaven and earth, we place our trust, not in our limited abilities, but in the boundless power and wisdom of God. This verse, in its simplicity, 
reminds us that no matter how imposing our hills may seem, our helper is infinitely greater. Our God is bigger than our problems. Now let's turn to verse 3, which reads, He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Each day, we wake up to a world filled with surprises and uncertainties. Some days feel like walking on a tightrope, with challenges ready to throw us off balance. However, this verse provides a powerful promise. God will not let our foot slip or be moved. It's akin to having the world's best balance keeper by our side. Consider the story of Peter walking on water in Matthew 14 verses 22 to 33. As long as his eyes were fixed on Jesus, he could achieve the impossible. However, when he shifted his focus to the raging storm, he began to sink. Yet, even in that moment of faltering, Jesus immediately reached out to ensure that Peter did not drown. God's protective hand is like that, assuring us that even if we stumble, we won't fall. The latter part of the verse paints a comforting image. God never takes a break from looking after us. Unlike us, who require rest and sleep, God's vigilance is ceaseless. Imagine a guardian who never blinks, never tires, and never sleeps. That's our God, always active, ensuring our safety. Verse 4 echoes this promise, saying, Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. This verse serves as a beautiful echo of the previous one, but broadens the scope. While the previous verse might seem more personal, this one extends that guardianship to the entirety of God's people by making reference to Israel. It brings to mind the story of the Israelites' escape from Egypt, as recounted in Exodus, chapters 12 to 14. They were pursued by Pharaoh's army, with the Red Sea in front of them. It appeared that all was lost, but God, who never slumbers nor sleeps, made a way for them by parting the Red Sea. This promise reminds us that God's attentive care isn't limited to individuals. It extends to communities, nations, and even generations. His reliability isn't exclusive to one person. It covers all his people. Verse 5 continues, The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. In life, we often encounter situations that can be intense or challenging, much like the heat of the sun. This verse promises that God acts as a shade, offering relief and comfort amid life's challenges. It brings to mind the story of Jonah. In the book of Jonah, chapter 4, verses 5 to 8, after delivering God's message to Nineveh, Jonah sat outside the city, and God provided a plan to give him shade. Though Jonah's experience was brief, it symbolizes the constant protective shade that God offers us. The mention of the right hand in this verse is also significant. In biblical times, the right hand symbolized power, authority, and honor. When God is our shade at our right hand, it's not just about protection, it's about empowerment. It signifies that every task we undertake, every challenge we face, has the strength and honor of God guiding and supporting us. It's a reminder that with God by our side, who or what can stand against us? Moving on to verse 6, it states, The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. Each day presents its highs and lows, much like the sun's scorching heat and the mysteries of the night. The sun can be unforgiving, highlighting the clear problems we encounter in our daily routines, challenges such as work-related issues, problems at home, or our personal worries and fears. On the other hand, the moon, while bringing light to the night, often symbolizes the unknown challenges we may face, those that catch us off guard or leave us bewildered. This verse offers the comforting promise that, whether our problems are as clear as day or hidden in the shadows of night, God is there, providing protection and guidance. It reassures us that God is with us, shielding us from both the seen and unseen challenges of life. Just as God guided the Israelites with a pillar of cloud during the day, and a pillar of fire at night as they wandered in the desert. God is with us during both the clear challenges of the day and the uncertainties of the night. Verse 7 assures us, 
The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. Imagine starting each day with a protective shield around you, safeguarding you from every harm that may come your way. This verse is a promise of that shield. It goes beyond physical protection or the challenges we face. It promises to guard our very essence and our life. This means that even if we encounter challenges deep within ourselves, where it matters most, God keeps us safe and secure. It's like having the most robust safety net as we navigate the challenges of each day. Finally, in verse 8, we read, The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Life is a series of journeys, whether we step out for work, face a challenge, embrace an opportunity, or return home to loved ones. This verse paints a picture of God's constant care, regardless of the direction in which we are heading. It's like having a protective friend by our side every time we step out, and the same friend welcoming us back home. Consider the story of Jacob, who was fleeing from his brother Esau and heading to a foreign land, mentioned in Genesis 28, verse 15. God promised him, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go and will bring you back to this land. Even in unfamiliar territory, Jacob wasn't alone. God was watching over his going out and his coming in. Similarly, this verse from Psalm 121 assures us that God's care isn't limited to today or tomorrow. It extends to eternity. Whether we are facing a new day, embarking on an adventure, or returning from a journey, God's promise remains unbroken. He watches over every step we take, from now until the end of time. This thought offers a comforting blanket of assurance, reminding us that, in the grand story of our lives, God's protective hand is always there, looking out for us. As we journey through the hills and valleys of life, we are never truly alone. The verses of Psalm 121 serve as a constant reminder that our steps are guided, our paths are washed, and our lives are surrounded by God's steadfast love and protection. So, whether you are stepping into a new challenge or returning from a journey, take heart, for God's promise of care, protection, and guidance is unwavering. In the big story of our lives, God's protective hand is always there, looking out for us. Now, let us approach the Lord in prayer. I invite you to pray this prayer with me, so you may receive the blessings it brings. Heavenly Father, Eternal King, Creator of heaven and earth, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude for your grace, mercies, and love. We thank you for the assurance that your mercies are new every morning, reminding us of your everlasting love for us today and every day. We claim the promises of Psalm 121 over our lives, declaring that we will walk in confidence, knowing that you guard our steps and watch over our paths. We acknowledge that you are our very present help in times of trouble, and you are our keeper. We thank you that you are our shield and buckler, protecting us day and night, delivering us from all evil. We thank you for your divine shade, offering relief amid the heat of life's challenges. We lift up our loved ones before you, praying that they draw closer to you, experience your truth, love, and grace. We ask for your mercy guidance and protection in their lives. As we say this prayer together with everyone listening, we pray that each person is touched by your loving presence. We ask that burdens are lifted, troubled minds and hearts find rest and peace in you, and that you comfort us through your Holy Spirit. For those who are hurting and those facing sickness or the symptoms of sickness, we pray for your healing anointing to flow through their entire being. May the power of our collective faith bring blessings, peace, and positive transformations in lives, near and far. We place all our concerns, dreams, and desires into your capable hands, asking that your will be done in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering our prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you were blessed by this message, please type Amen in the comment section below. We declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you in the name of Jesus. You can help us reach more people 
and spread the gospel by sharing this video with a friend or family member who needs the blessings of this prayer. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel for more uplifting content. We appreciate all those who support us, and remember that you are blessed to be a blessing. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.